Hi, I'm Ann from the Lawrence Branch, and I'm here again with my great niece Q, who gave me a lesson number one on origami, and we're back again for lesson number two. We're going to get a little bit more complicated today. See if you can follow along. What so are we doing? Today we're going to make a party hat, otherwise known as a samurai helmet, and this model is from Florence Tem Temko's book, Origami Magic. So we're going to start with our square paper, and we start with the, the non-colorful side up. And the first thing we do is we fold the corner from top to bottom, or if you're me, I always like to fold away. <laughs> Alright, I'm doing the valley fold, you're doing the mountain fold. Yep. And then what we do is, and you do want your paper to end up with the point down like you have, we fold the two outside corners in towards the center line. So we're folding these two towards the center line. Oh, I immediately did it wrong. So I'm correcting myself. It's all right. Here you go. And bring both of those outer corners towards the center line. So now with our square, the open part on the bottom, we fold these two loose corners up towards the top, so just that top layer. So you can see one side up towards the top and the other side. Like that, so it looks like a little hat. Yep, so it looks like a little hat. And then we take these little corners and you can see the triangle, you see there's a sort of a middle point mm -hmm. in there. So we're folding this folding again, this top mm -hmm. layer towards that middle point. We're we folding it completely in half. So we're taking the, the edge mm -hmm. and folding it partially in half. So that way it bisects the like that? triangle. Is that right? No. So no. It's, oh. it's okay. <laughs> so it's bringing... <laughs> That's this, why you need a teacher. This entire piece towards oh, the middle that of way. that okay. edge. Yeah. And if you do, or you can get this to sort of line up straight there. So what I did was I took this outer edge and I folded it. It's halfway down this part of the triangle and it ends up being parallel to this line. So we do that on both sides. Yep, you got it. Like little wings, or you know what a samurai mm -hmm. helmet looks like, it's beginning to form sort of the, the horns on the helmet. And then we have the, the open part of our model at the bottom, so we're taking this part and we're folding it up. So, again, it's sort of folding it in maybe even a third. So, so the tip goes over mm -hmm. the top, and it goes over the top. Okay. So I'm bringing the bottom part of this up to about midway through the top part of the shape. It also looks like it's about a third of that triangle is still remaining below the midline of the figure. Yep, like that. And then we take this other, the third that's still down there, and we fold it we hold down this middle piece and bring that. Bring it up. Bring it up. Oh. So I took the lower third that's still there and I bring it up to the halfway Damn, point of the big here. So that way it sort of holds in all the top part of the, the model. And then we turn the figure over. So all those little triangles that we just folded are on the bottom or on the the opposite side. Yep. And we bring the bottom half of the shape up. So you just all fold the it up. in half all, all the way, way up. up. So we have the side we were just working on, we turn it over and we bring it up. And the finishing touch. So you have a, a shape that has got a uh, seam at the bottom, right? You put your finger in there and it's not done yet. <laughs> you take the flap that you just folded up mm -hmm. and you fold it back into the hat. 
So we folded it up once to crease it. Now we unfold it and tuck it up into how far up? Uh, as far as it can go. It should be. It should end up being flush with the bottom there. That far or further? Further. You can even sort further. of roll it one more. More time in there. <laughs> it's alright, you almost got it. You almost got it. It was in there, but yeah. that's not straight. It's a brain. So it helps sometimes if you open your shape already. You can open it. It's kind of like mm -hmm. if you hold the two edges together, you can open it. And that'll help guide the rest of that the sheet in there. You need nimble fingers. Or a, a ballpoint pen sometimes helps. Yes. <laughs> um, so yeah, I was able to open the hat. That is a Tuck hat. in the back of it. And there we go. It's a hat. It's a hat. And with a large square piece of paper, you can make a hat that is proportional now, yes. to your hat. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That was complicated, but step by step, we get mm -hmm. it done. Yeah. Looking at that, I don't think I could easily follow that just by looking at it. I made a lot of these for Christmas cards yeah. one year, so practice. <laughs> yes, that's it, practice. That's really neat. So there we go. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. And there.